It is not the critic who counts. Not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles. to do it like Dustin. We're gonna have a poll. Who does it better? Wow. All right, your turn, Keeg. Do your wow. Keegan. Wow. You're, this is a competition oh. right now. Wow. You sound like a goat. Say it. Wow. 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 The poorest way to face life is to face it with a sneer. There are many men who feel a kind of twisted pride and cynicism. There are many who confine themselves to criticism of the way others do what they themselves dare not even attempt. There is no more unhealthy being, no man less worthy of respect, than he who either really holds or feigns to hold an attitude of sneering disbelief toward all that is great and lofty. Whether an achievement or in that noble effort which, even if it fails, comes to second achievement. So, I want to ask you guys, we've been to Anakista, we've been to Skybridge, we've been here. Which one has the best views? This one. This or one? Anakista. I don't know, they think, all have their own. Yeah, I think, and Bob has said this as well, I think that this, the Space Needle has all everything it has what you can see from Anakista. from Anakista. it has what you can see yeah, from can the sky lift it has what you can see all right and it has you know this which you don't really get this at either other either place i uh, really being able to look down onto the onto the city like this It is not the critic who counts, not 
the man who points out how the strong man stumbles, or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who was actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again. Because there is no effort without error and shortcoming. But who does actually strive to do the deeds? Who knows great enthusiasms? the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement. And who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly. So that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. So that was the Space Needle. I'm gonna let Keegan jump in with the rating. I probably rate it like a six because it like looks really cool from like seeing it like on the strip. When you get up there, like the paint's peeling and it fit like around $16. No. And that gets you, so just to be clear, the 16 gets you one trip today and a yeah. trip tomorrow. Yeah. So I still two trips. <laughs> no. okay. it's worth it. Because it like was like really like some of the boards weren't there like on the side so obviously you couldn't fall out of them but like still and then some spots were like squishy and they're like thick wood too and like when you walked on you feel like you're gonna just fall through and on it going like up and down the elevators like waiting for it it takes a long time for some but it makes sense just because how high up it is but the inside the elevators are like mommy filmed it i think there's like wires everywhere that was kind of exposed but and the tape that you see? Yeah, the duct tape and aluminum foil. So what do you rate it? A six. A six? Yeah. What do you rate it, Jay? I rate it a seven. The view is pretty, like that's the best view you could see in Gothenburg. And like the flooring was really shaky and like some of the things that you look through like it's really blurry and, then, and there's a spoke stuff like wires and we're just going to buy a duct tape you know like <laughs> most normal every every elevator has a duct tape holding onto it um i think it's cool especially as in the space needle it just needs the it just needs some painting involved with the elevator needs some uh tender love and care huh TLC, yeah, yeah. All right. What are you ready, babe? All right, so I'm gonna give it an eight in spite of the maintenance issues. Um, I think that they probably need to put somebody 
a staff member up top. Um, you know, without going into too much detail, a few years ago, they had a very tragic incident happen on top of there, and there was absolutely nothing stopping that from happening again. Uh, they did. I think they put one camera on one side. Uh, that's definitely something that they need to, to, to take a look at. Um, on top of that, um, some maintenance issues. There's. Uh, it just looks, man, this could be the premier attraction in town. And I think that the reason maybe why they're, if, if, if visitation to the space Studios went down, it's because they haven't taken care of it as they should. And at $16 a head and, and $10 a head for uh, uh, for children, they should they should be making some making some dough up there. Uh, but as far as the view is concerned, man, it's unmatched. Um, Anakista doesn't have that view in its entirety. Uh, Skylift Park doesn't have that view in its entirety. Exclusively the Space Needle. If you want to see everything, that's where you go to the Space Needle. Uh, we got some, I hope they come out good. We got what I think are going to be some tremendous shots from up there. And uh, it just brought me all the way back, man. It, it, from, from the Space Needle, I could see everything that made me fall in love with this area as a child. And uh, that's special. But guys, you got to take care of people at the end of the day. Like it's, um, the floorboards that you were talking about, the wires, and you know, we're not too far removed from that incident, man. And uh, the fact that there's nobody up there and they haven't done more is, it's inexcusable. Well, and I tell you, I got up on one of the, the viewfinder things and was just kind of, you know, holding the camera over it. And I was like, oh, like my center of gravity was above the ra was above the rail. And uh, that, that's no good, man. If you put your phone like out in there, you feel like you're gonna drop it. Yeah, for sure. All right. All right, so I didn't want to influence people here. I'm not going to give it a rating. Um, I work in the mental health field, and I've worked in a variety of different areas in the mental health field throughout my career. Uh, trigger warning, I am talking about mental health and some serious stuff, so if that's too much or it gets you emotional or, you know, something, just go ahead and just end it here. They said a lot of the stuff I'm going to say, but I'm going to talk specific. I don't understand what's going on here. I don't get it. Uh someone that has mental health they don't have that road on their head so it's not like you can watch for this there was a Smirnoff bottle up there after that oh, incident okay. like are you kidding me you have two workers working down there they're both just bopping around one person can ring you up they don't have a line out the door I don't understand why there's two people at the bottom and not one person on top if you don't have the staff for it then maybe um, if you're training you should close it because people's lives are at stake here. Take out mental health. So many people were affected that day. Could you imagine being one of the, look at how many people are around here. Like, look at this. Could you imagine one of the people seeing that, let alone the person doing it, let alone the person's family? It's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. You could accidentally fall. I mean, kids running around, alcohol, alcohol on the space, it's just unacceptable. If that was my family member that did that, do better. Do better. That's it. All right. Anybody else? All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. If you made it this far, like if you liked it. Comment if you're a fan. Subscribe if you're feeling it. If not, that's okay, too. Wow.